First quarter action to Kittatinny and watch Kevin Zellner with a great look to Jordan Lorenzo and Kittatinny has a 7-5 lead over Walk Hill Valley in this Colonial Division clash. Walk Hill Valley cuts into Kittatinny's lead here, watch David Pluvoice with the hoop and he draws the foul to make it 10-9 Kittatinny. But watch Kittatinny cap the quarter here with a buzzer beating three pointer by Kevin Zellner and Kittatinny has a six point lead 18-12 after one quarter of play. We move to second quarter action and Walk Hill Valley goes on a 13-6 run and takes the lead here. Watch Justin Decker take it all the way and the Rangers are up 25-24. But watch Kevin Zellner who was on fire all night. He gives Kittatinny a three point lead here with the drive and he gets fouled and the Cougars are up 30-27 but this game would be tied at 30 at the half. Third quarter we go and watch Matt Christmas of Walk Hill Valley with a terrific drive to the hoop and Walk Hill Valley has a 32-30 lead early in the quarter. But it's Kevin Zellner again for Kid Tinney as he takes the kick out from Jason Zellner, 4-3, and the Cougars are up 39-38. Walker Valley makes it a one-point game after three quarters here. Watch Justin Decker pull for it, and he drains the three, but the Rangers trail 43-42 as we head to the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter action, and Kid Tinney pushes his lead to 48-44 here as it's Kevin Zellner again from beyond the arc with the tray for the Cougars. And the Cougars come right back with another three. Watch Christian Gegenheimer knock it down as the Kittatinny Cougars now have a 51-44 lead. All right, Walk Hill Valley battles back and with one minute and 35 seconds to go in regulation. Watch freshman Dylan Arlos snag the rebound and he lays it in for two. And the Rangers are only down by two, 54-52. All right, after several chances, Walk Hill Valley gets one last one with five seconds to go. But Justin Decker finds Harlos, who hits the floater right as the buzzer sounds, and we go to overtime tied at 54. What a game. All right, we go to overtime and watch Christian Gangenheimer attack the basket, and it goes, and he's fouled, and Kittatinny has a three-point lead, 57-54, with 2.24 to go in overtime. And then the Cougars are on the break and watch Zellner fling it up, and the basket is good, plus the foul, and Kittatinny now has a six-point lead, 60-54, with 1.35 to go. And then watch Kevin Zillner cap his monster night with a good D as he gets the steal and the hoop as he finishes with a career-high 28 points as Kittatinny holds on for a wild 64-56 overtime victory over Walk Hill Valley. It was a team victory all the way through. Uh, we played together, we rebounded together, and just came through with the win finally. And it's, it's a great feeling. It was a great team effort. Uh, we all came out energized, and we knew what we had to do to execute, and it was a great team win. It's just a great feeling. We're, like you said, 1-8. It's just great to get another win under. We're going to have to carry that momentum in the next game, keep things going, focus on all the positives. feels great. Um, definitely hard fought, um, and they earned it. Very proud of them. Um, mental toughness, uh, something you know we talk about all the time, and... Uh, and, and that was exactly it. You know what I mean? Like you, you said it a couple times already. Uh, they could have folded, but they, they absolutely did not. And, uh, and I'm so proud of them for that. And uh, the importance of mental toughness, you know, goes way beyond sports. And, and they displayed it tonight. And, and that, for me, that was the biggest thing. That's the most enjoyable thing to, to just see them tough one out. Give Walk Hill Valley credit. They came back, tied it at the buzzer on a Dylan Harlow's jumper. But Kittatinny didn't hang their heads and pulled away in overtime and got the victory. We knew in overtime that it was our game. Uh, we're in great shape, and we knew that they were tired, and we knew if we kept attacking like we did in the beginning, it was going to be our game. Kevin Zellner had a monster night tonight, 28 points, a career high for him. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I haven't had a game like this ever. It's, it's overwhelming, honestly. Zillner had a big night of big baskets, but he had two big plays in the overtime. He had a three-point play, and then with about 30 seconds left, he gets a big steal and a basket to push the lead to 62-56, and Kittatini held on from there. Just one of those moments where you just deliver the dagger and just seal the deal. Speaking of coming up big, Christian Gagan and I had a big fourth quarter. He had a three. He also had a big basket in the overtime to help the Cougars pull out this victory. It's a good feeling to hit that, those shots, you know. It's like I've never been afraid to take them, but to, with the whole crowd there, everyone watching, it's just, it's just great to like, be able to help my team out like that. Kittatinny came into this game with only one win, but they've been working hard every day in practice for Coach Mike Lupo. Every time you watch Kittatinny play, they play hard the entire game, and their hard work paid off tonight. It feels great because even though our season's a little rough right now, we, uh, every day we go out there, work as hard as we can, 
and to see it pay off is a great feeling. Now with two victories, the Cougars want to build off this and finish the second half of the season strong.